Hello everybody, well done to this week's FCCP challenge which is going to be juggling. Uh, first of all, well done to those of you who gave Mr McHenry's tennis challenge um, a try. Lots of you made big improvements and we thank you to, to everyone who sent in scores and pictures of them taking part in that. Now, um, every week when we communicate with you through Show My Homework, as well as sending fitness um, program links um, and the weekly challenge, we are also uh, have just um, published the, the new FCC bucket list. Now the bucket list is a list of suggestions, things that we feel would be great for you to, to give a try um, and tick off before you leave FCC. Some of those um, you might have done already and you can tick those off straight away. Some of them um, you're not going to be able to do yet because of the, the virus and the lockdown, but you can maybe plan how, how you could do those. And some of them you can try and do over the next few weeks and we want you to let us know how you get on with those. So one of those uh, FCC bucket list challenges is juggling. So first of all, you need to get yourself three objects. Ideally three of the same objects that, that your parents uh, people at home are happy for you to use. You need a space to do it in. You want the objects to have a reasonable amount of weight really. If they're too light, maybe like the tennis ball here or this weird little ball here, it's going to be too difficult. Um, I suppose bean bags really, something like bean bags would be the best thing to use. So what we're trying to do is pass the ball from our right hand to our left hand and we're just repeating that pattern over and over again. Right, how are we going to learn it? We're going to start off by just using one ball. So choose a ball that you're comfortable with and just spend some time, this might take five, ten minutes, just throwing the ball from one hand to the other hand. Doesn't matter how you throw it, doesn't matter how high it goes, just get really comfortable with throwing that ball. Now, when you're learning this you've got to expect to be doing lots of dropping uh, that's part of it. So don't get, try not to get too frustrated if you're dropping the ball a lot. Just accept that that's part of the process. And when you do maybe break into the next stage, take a moment just to just to feel good about that um, and congratulate yourself um, for, for moving forwards. So that's one ball. So next stage with one ball, we need to be then maybe thinking about how we're throwing it a little bit more. So I want you to imagine that you've got two. Imagine your point is just above your head, shoulder width apart, and when you throw with your left hand, you want the ball just to go through that uh, point just in front of your right right hand side, and with your right hand, you want the ball travelling through that left hand point. So, we're just going to practice, again, five, ten minutes, maybe longer, just getting the ball so that it's generally always similar height. Uh, bring the ball into your body before you throw each time. As you can see, I need a bit more practice. I'm not brilliant at this. Okay, next stage, you're going to get two balls. Now, this is where it gets a bit more interesting. Most people tend to start with their stronger hand. So I'm right-handed, so we want the ball to come up through that imaginary point. And just when that ball is starting to come down, then I'm going to throw the other ball. Don't worry about catching to start with, so if they land on the floor, that's fine. Okay? So, keep doing that, you might then start gradually catching one ball and then working on catching both balls, but the catching isn't as important as the throwing. Um, okay. So, key things here, don't throw the second ball too early. If I throw it too early, then you can see there that made it really difficult. You've got to wait till that second ball is coming down. If you find it hard releasing that second ball, maybe start with your non-dominant hand. So left hand for me would be my non-dominant hand. So that might force you to throw that second ball a little bit more. Right, now we're on to the three balls. So we're just aiming to do three throws. Again, forget about the catching. If the catching doesn't happen, that doesn't matter. But most people prefer to start with two balls in one hand. So this is going to be the first ball that I'm going to throw. I'm going to go right, left, and then right to finish. That's all I'm going to aim for. Right, left, 
right. Okay, and again, don't worry about the catch. Right, left, right. Right, left, right. Okay, once you're on to three, then you're going to extend it just by one each time. Three to four. If you get to six, then that's the magic number on this. If you can get to six, you're away. And with a few more days practice, you should be able to do it continuously. All right. So once you've got that and you can relax, then you can start bringing the balls lower down and you can start doing some of the little tricks that we've put the link to uh, on Show My Home. So um, give this a go, it'd be brilliant to find out how many of you learn to do this and how many of you can try the tricks over the next few weeks. So let us know either by putting on Show My Homework or emailing to me on the email address that I'll put on the page as well. So next challenge I think it's going to be Mr McHenry again in just over a week's time. Alright, stay safe. Bye.